The day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, December 25, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Iplus check out our Patreon in the link down below if you want access for our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation, make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions, you will find the link in the description and comments section below. Green Bay Packers vs Miami Dolphins the Green Bay Packers step onto the field holding a record of 6-8 this year. In their last contest, the Packers played the Rams and went home with a win by a final score of 24-12. Aaron Rodgers finished 22 30 with 229 yards passing and 1 TD. He had a quarterback rating of 92.2 and ended the game with one pick. Romeo Daubs left with an average of 11.0 yards per reception by recording 55 yards on 5 receptions. Aaron Jones was the best rusher for the Packers with 17 attempts for 90 yards, 5.3 yards per attempt. In the game, they tallied 68 plays which converted into 345 yards. The Green Bay Packers ran the ball 35 times and accumulated 138 yards, earning them an average of 3.9 yards per attempt. In the running game, the Packers conceded 72 yards on 17 tries, which calculates to 4.2 yards per run surrendered. Green Bay surrendered 12 pass completions on 21 tries for 84 yards and a completion rate of 57.1%. The Packers have earned 4,838 total yards for this campaign. Green Bay has tallied 156 first downs and they have committed 77 penalties for 642 yards. In terms of scoring, Green Bay has totaled 24 passing touchdowns and 9 rushing touchdowns. They have turned the football over 19 times, 10 interceptions and 9 fumbles. As a team they average 126.3 yards on the ground, ranking them 12th in the NFL. When it comes to scoring points, the Green Bay Packers hold an average of 20.5 ppg. The Packers sit in 15th in the National Football League concerning team defense, conceding 22.4 points per contest. They are allowing an average of 5.0 yards per rushing attempt and 148.9 yards on the ground per game over the course of this year. In total, they have given up 2,084 running yards through 14 contests. Regarding yards through the air, the Packers have surrendered 2,592 yards, which ranks them second in the league. They have yielded 185.1 yards per outing through the air and allowed a completion percentage of 65.9%. For the season, they are surrendering 334.0 yards per outing, which has them sitting 15th in the NFL. They have given up 19 touchdowns via the pass and 15 touchdowns via the ground game. Sitting in first place in the AFC East just a few weeks ago, the Dolphins are now looking to get back into the win column and to right the ship. With three losses in a row, the Dolphins have seen the divisional title seemingly fall out of their grasp, while getting one of the better wild card spots appears to be the new priority. It hasn't helped that they've been on the road each of the last three weeks as well, where they too have a losing record this season. At home, they are 5-1 and will be thrilled to be back for this crucial matchup. With their last two games looming against the Patriots and Jets, grabbing a win on Sunday in this one is a must. The Dolphins will come out on top in this one, and their offense will be too much or the Packers to keep pace with. Even without a strong ground game, having two of the best wide receivers in the league will come in handy against the Packers. Green Bay definitely has some strong players on the defensive side, but they don't have the depth to match what Miami can do with their talent. Adding in Miami's strong ground defense, they will be able to avoid Green Bay controlling the entire game on the ground. 
Additionally, according to Covers.com, the Dolphins are 12-3 ATS in their last 15 home games against a team with a losing road record. Our first pick is Dolphins, minus 3.5 points. The Dolphins step onto the field holding a record of 8-6 for this year. When they last stepped on the football field, the Dolphins took a loss by a score of 32-29 when they played the Bills. Tua Tagovailoa, two touchdowns, finished the contest with 234 yards on 17 30ths through the air, while his QB rating was 104. He didn't toss any interceptions, and his average yards per pass attempt was 7.8 yards. Jalen Waddell had the best day in terms of receiving for the Dolphins, hauling in three balls for 114 yards, 38.0 yards per catch. Raheem Mostert carried the football 17 times for 136 yards, walking away from the game with 8.0 yards per attempt for Miami. The Dolphins finished the game with a total of 405 yards, while they ran 57 plays, 7.1 yards per play. Miami ran for 7.5 yards per attempt, finishing with a total of 188 yards on 25 attempts. Miami allowed 29 attempts on the ground for 150 yards, 5.2 yards per carry. The Dolphins' pass defense gave up a completion rate of 62.5%, relinquishing 296 yards on 25 for 40 through the air. When looking at their scoring prowess, the Dolphins are sitting 9th in football with 24.6 ppg. For the year so far, the Dolphins have earned 3,830 yards via the pass, as well as an average of 273.6 throwing yards per contest, which is ranked third in football. They hold an average of 96.9 yards per game via the rush and have run for 1,356 yards for the year. The Miami Dolphins average 370.4 yards per outing, which ranks them fifth out of all teams in the NFL. The Miami offense has accrued 701 yards of penalties on 89 violations, which is good for eighth in the NFL, in terms of helping out the opposition. They have thrown 10 interceptions while losing 5 fumbles, and they have been able to earn 188 first downs. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers kept their slim playoff hopes alive with a 24-12 win over the Los Angeles Rams last weekend. A.J. Dillon ran for two scores, Rodgers threw a touchdown pass to Aaron Jones, and the Packers' defense held up late against the shorthanded Rams. Green Bay will have to win out for any chance of making the playoffs, sitting with a 6-8 record. They need to beat Miami and then get back-to-back -back divisional matchups against Minnesota and Detroit. They have won 14 straight December games with Aaron Rodgers at the helm. The Miami Dolphins blew an 8.4th quarter lead as they fell 32-29 to the Buffalo Bills last weekend, falling to 8-6. They have lost three straight games after vaulting to the top of the division earlier in the year. Tua Tagovailoa finished 17 of 30 for 234 yards and two touchdowns, including a 67-yarder to Jalen Waddle. Raheem Mostert finished with 136 yards rushing, while backup Salvin Ahmed ran for 43 yards, including an 11-yard TD. They have surrendered 24 touchdowns through the air and 246.3 yards per game, ranking them 27th out of all teams. Miami has yielded a total of 1,558 yards on the ground, 111.3 yards per contest, and 14 touchdowns on the ground for the season. Their defense has earned 13 turnovers, 6 fumbles and 7 picks on the season. The Dolphins' defense has been on the field for 911 plays, which has them ranked 28th in the league. This year, they have given up 344 points in total. The Dolphins are allowing 24.6 ppg, which has them sitting 26th in football. The total for this interconference showdown is set at a flat 50 points, which lends credence to how efficient Miami is on offense. They are top 10 in points per game and passing yards, but allow their opponents to go up and down the field on them as well, as they rank 27th in passing defense. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay O is not what they used to be, but they can still put up a ton of points, especially against lesser defenses like Miami's. I expect both teams to surpass the 25-point mark here in a big Green Bay win. The total number has gone over in five of Miami's last seven games. Also, the total has gone over in 4 of 5 for the Packers. This is a huge game for both teams. Take the over with confidence. Our second pick is. Over 50 points.